Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I'm the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Uh, today's webinar uh, starts off our series of member webinars. You know, we specifically designed this series for new members that are just joining us here in BNI, or it could be members that have been around for a while and are just experiencing BNI Connect for the first time. Uh, what we've done is we've taken the most common areas of BNI Connect and broken it down into five easy to follow webinars, just nice short half hour topics to go through in detail some of the things that you can do here in BNI Connect. So today we are going to you know, start off with step one. We're going to talk about the profile, how we can go in and fill out our profile and why we want to fill out our profile. Tomorrow, at the same time, 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, noon Pacific, we're going to talk about giving and tracking referrals online. So how do you submit your slips and follow up with them and follow that activity over the course of your lifetime in BNI? The next thing we're going to do on Wednesday is we're going to talk about connecting with other members. Uh, how do we use BNI Connect? I mean, there's 210,000 people around the world in BNI. How do we use this system to really make connections with other people around the world? We're going to take a couple of days off for the holiday, and then we're going to come back to end out the year with a couple. Uh, we're going to talk about the tools and reports next Wednesday, and then we're going to talk about inviting and registering visitors next Thursday. So today's topic, as I said, is going to be the first step, and that's completing your profile. Before we get started, uh, just a couple of very, very quick housekeeping things. If you're listening to this today, if you're here with me on Monday, December 19th of 2016. Congratulations, you're listening to a live webinar. And that means that this is interactive. If you have any questions whatsoever as we're going through the material today, please do feel free to ask those questions. The best way to do that is to please type the questions in to the questions panel. I'll see that pop up on my screen. I'll read it off and we'll talk about whatever your question is. Now, I said we are scheduled for about 30 minutes. That said, I am happy to be on this call until every single question has been answered. So we do try to be very respectful of people's times. We'll get through the main content in that 30 minutes, but I will stay online an hour or longer if people have questions. Uh, this is what I do all day every day as I answer questions about BNI Connect, so take advantage of our time together. If you are listening to this, uh, then you have found that we record all of these sessions as well. So you can share those recordings with other people in your chapter, or um, if you'd like to go back and review the information later, you can. We store all of the recordings in two places, both on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global, and also on our support site, which you can get to by clicking on the question mark in the upper right hand corner of BNI Connect. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, we're going to be talking about your profile. Before I get into that, though, as just as a kind of an introduction to BNI and BNI Connect, really, I wanted to show you guys just a couple of things. This is part of a larger presentation called The Power of Connect, but I only want to show you the first couple of slides here of this before I jump into BNI Connect. The first thing is, is you know, BNI Connect is a very large system. You know, it's it really serves three primary purposes for the BNI organization as a whole. So, firstly, you know, it is it's kind of our QuickBooks as an organization. Um, we process all of the member records. There's you know 7,500 chapters that every single week are inputting POMS reports into the system. Uh, there's you know, a thousand regions around the world. We are in 72 countries. There's just, there is a mountain of data that is getting input on a daily and weekly basis and we hold all of that data for you know, really the, the BNI world here. But in addition to that, if anybody's familiar with uh, with WordPress for generating websites, we're kind of like we're a custom WordPress for BNI. So every single country uh, where BNI is, we, we produce a website for them. Every region, every single chapter, we have a website that's built with BNI Connect data. So it actually, you know, every time a new member comes on board, the roster for the chapter is automatically updated on all these different websites. So it's really a seamless integration between the, the, the stuff that's in BNI Connect and also all of these public websites out there. But we also have, really this is kind of a private LinkedIn for 
BNI as an organization. So it is a closed system. So of the, you know, you're in a system with 210,000 members from around the world. That's updated from a couple of months ago uh, when this was 205. We're growing. BNI, the BNI family is growing every single day, every single week, and you have access to all of those BNI members around the world through BNI Connect. And we also have the discussion groups that allows us to have conversations with other members around the world. Uh, for those of you that are a little bit more data conscious, a uh, couple of just quick facts and figures for you. It is one application. It is not a website. It is a web application where we're doing all of these things online. And in that application, we have 950 individual web pages that comprise BNI Connect. Of those, about 120 of those are reports. We also tr have to translate everything in BNI Connect into 47 different languages, which is why progress can feel like it's slow sometimes, because even if we put out a new report into the system, or we're going to be uh, releasing the BNI Connect mobile app in the next couple of months, you know, probably by the second quarter of 2017, that has to be translated into all of these different languages, which is just a lot of work. We also use about a dozen or so different programming languages. There's about a million lines of code. Now, what's exciting to me about BNI Connect is that, you know, really when I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I'm, I'm a member. Um, I've been a member uh, since 2002. So I started my career as being an entrepreneur with BNI. The first thing I did was I joined a BNI chapter because I had heard good things about it. But when I joined that chapter way back in 2002, and by the way, the same chapter I still go to on a weekly basis, the only thing I knew about BNI and the only thing I had access to were those 20, 22 other people that were in the room with me. That was my entire BNI experience back then. And you know, about six months in, I was voluntold that I would be the vice president. So I jumped on board with the leadership team and I went to my first regional training. And when I went to this regional training, I got to meet a hundred or more other local BNI members and my world just got expanded by that many more networking connections. The problem was, is unless I collected their card from them at that networking event, there was no way for me to go back and get in touch with them later. And then a couple of years later, I became a director consultant. And I went to an international conference. And I met hundreds of BNI members and directors from around the world. And we were so excited to get to know each other and do business with each other. But Again, unless I had their business card, it was really hard to maintain that contact. Now with BNI Connect, it offers us the ability to really stay in touch and expand our business on a global level. We'll talk more about that over the course of the next week um, as we talk about the different aspects of BNI. But today, what I really wanted to, to go through more than anything else is, you know, how how do you look in BNI Connect and you know, what are the things that make your profile important? Now, one of the things to, to keep in mind with it is that it, you need to be familiar with the concept of VCP, visibility, credibility, and profitability. And really, this is one of the things, if you haven't been to a member success program yet, this is one of the things that they will review in the member success program. But to put it in a nutshell, in order to be successful in word of mouth marketing and you know what we're doing here referral relationships first you have to be visible people have to know that you are there then you have to be credible it's not enough that they know you're there they have to actually like you and trust you once you have those things you will then start to see profitability here in in networking so the fact is that people through BNI connect are looking to do business with you and what I like to say is that the new formula is if we can take visibility and credibility and we can multiply that by the power of BNI Connect, then we really can achieve some exponential profitability. So why do we want to do this? Now let me get out of this PowerPoint and now you can see that I'm logged into BNI Connect here. Now your BNI Connect profile is pretty important because it's going to show up in a number of different places, both inside BNI Connect here once I've logged into the system but also up there on the 
you know, the, the real internet, you know, Google and Bing and Yahoo and all those places. So first things first, take a look at, you'll see a button in the upper right hand corner, click on that, that's the regional website. And what this is, is this is the public internet. So this is my region. I happen to be a member in Rhode Island. So my button takes me to BNI Rhode Island. This is a live site out there on the internet. So if I go to find a member and I type my name in here, basically everybody out there on the internet has access to this. This is my profile out there on BNI Connect, on the public side of BNI Connect. So here in BNI Rhode Island, we also have a website here in the United States called bniamerica.com that every single member has a profile on that website and then my chapter has a website as well that also has this profile so three distinct places out there on the internet my profile is active now inside BNI Connect as well so if I close this I'm now back in the logged in portion of BNI Connect you see this little magnifying glass up in the upper right hand corner this is what allows us to search everywhere in BNI. So every active member in BNI around the world has a profile on this inside portion. So I can look for people in Germany. I can look for, you know, a barber in Barbados. I mean, really, we have BNI everywhere around the world. So I could, for example, just look up my own profile again. So Jeremy Walsh. And this is combing the directory, finding matches. It found some matches for Walsh, some matches for Jeremy, but two exact matches for Jeremy Walsh. Now, if I click on my name here, this is once again going to bring up my profile. Now, this is a little bit more of an advanced profile. It's a little bit fuller. It has more information than what we share with the general public. So it does have the ability to put a video in. My, it does display my keywords and my company and my phone numbers and my email address and my social media links. But it also has all these other tabs as well. So people can read my weekly presentations. People can see my gains profile, my tops profile. They can also look at all the people that I'm connected with, just like LinkedIn. You can see all of my connections and click through to those connections. People can also leave you testimonials so they can help you to build that credibility as well. There's a little photo share sharing library where you can share up to 20 photos. People can see what groups you're participating in. And finally, your training history. And this is all ways to build that relationship, to increase your visibility and also to increase your credibility so that you can get to that profitability stage. But if you haven't done anything, if you haven't filled out your profile yet, I have a little test account here in Antarctica where I've done nothing at all on this profile. This is what you look like by default when people find you in BNI Connect. So if you don't want to look like this, then what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to update your profile a little bit. So the way to do that is if you happen to be at this empty page, you'll see that there's a link here. It says Update Profile My BNI Page. The other way is that I'm going to go back to my home screen here. And on my home screen, there's also a link right here that says Update Profile My BNI Page. Now, there's a third way to get there, too. If you happen to just be somewhere else in BNI Connect or you can't find your way back to the home page, here under Options, it says My Account. Now, you can click on any of those three things. It will all take you to the same place. So what you'll see here is that your profile is set up very similar to the way that the profile is set up when somebody views it in BNI Connect. And there's a bunch of these tabs across the top here. Now, there's really no secret to filling out your profile. It's all just pretty much go through each of those tabs and fill out all of the information on them. So we have our, our main profile tab. We have our user profile tab. We have the contact details, the account settings. We have the uh, bio, we have the director profile, and we have the training history. So all of these, we, I need to go through and update all of those in order to fill out our profile. So let's start with the first one. So the first tab here is going to be the main profile. And this has kind of the basic things, you know, your name and your company name and things like that. 
most of this stuff um, you, you can't really change yourself. So like you know the name and the company name, that's stuff that needs to be changed you know, when you put an application in or, because we have to make sure that you know, we're consistent with the paper applications uh, for legal reasons. So that stuff, if you need to have it changed, just contact your leadership team or um, through your regional office. But scrolling down to the bottom, the things that we want to pay attention to here on the main tab here is the my business and the keywords. Those are the two places where we need to spend just a little bit of time. So the my business is going to be the really that kind of your, put it this way, if you were at your chapter meeting, uh, during that open networking portion of the meeting, that first 15 minutes of the meeting, let's say that there's a visitor there that you haven't met before. And that visitor comes up to you and says, hey, what do you do? This is kind of how do you explain your business to somebody in just a couple of short sentences. And you do that here in the My Business description. Now, keep in mind that nowadays people do like video. Um, they are consuming more and more video on a daily basis as opposed to reading the text on the page. And here you can also put in what's called an embed code. So if you want to record a video of yourself and put it on YouTube or on Vimeo or one of those video sharing sites, they'll give you a special code. All you need to do is to copy and paste that into the My Business description. This is one of the few places that allows you to do that. All right, we do have a question here from Barbara. Uh, Barbara asks, how do I add articles and pictures? So articles and pictures, um, we, we do that through a slightly different place for that photos tab. But if you go to network picture gallery, that's where you can add the articles and pictures onto your profile. Does that help, Barbara? All right, so going back to this tab, um, we the second thing on here that we really want to pay attention to is the keywords here at the bottom. So the keywords are really, you know, how are people going to find you when they don't know your name, right? Because most of the time when we're searching in BNI Connect, or we're searching anywhere really on the internet, what we're doing is we're searching for people, you know, based on, you know, things that they do. So, for example, you, you might look for, you know, a plumber in Pittsburgh, but you don't know to, to look for Pete the plumber in Pittsburgh. So, the keywords, when, when people do a search in BNI Connect, it, keep in mind that it is a database search. We don't quite have the budget yet that Google has or that Bing or that Yahoo or any of those places have. So, it is a database search. So, we're going to search and we're going to look for for example, your industry and your classification. So those words, when somebody looks for computer or computer services for me, those are going to come up by default. But in order to get the you know, more value, what we want to do is make sure that we complement that with keywords. And keywords can really be anything descriptive about your business. couple of pointers on that though. Uh, first of all, for example, um, you know, we are looking at exact words. So if your profession is accounting and that's what's listed as your profession accounting, you may want to put the word accountant into that box as well. That way that you'll be searched for accounting and accountant. Similarly, uh, you can put in other locations, especially cities or towns or even states for that matter. Uh, for example, you know, here uh, I'm in Rhode Island. Rhode Island's a really, really small state. So we do, we tend to do business with the neighboring states as well. So I kind of want to make sure that you know we're found if somebody does a search for computers in Massachusetts or computers in Connecticut, which are the two states nearby. Uh, that works in big states as well. So places like Texas and California, you may want to put a couple of different major cities besides the one where your office is located. That way people can, if they do a search for that city, they'll find you as well. Now, if you make any changes on this page, make sure to click Update. Now, all of these changes will happen immediately. So if you, for example, change your My Business description out on the website and on your profile, that will be updated immediately. They'll find that. Uh, the only thing that's is this keywords. It will save your update, but it takes about a half hour to refresh the searches in the system. 
All right, let's take a look at this next page. This next page is your user profile page. This is your username and your password and things like that. You can make your username anything you want it to be, uh, letters and numbers and symbols. It does not have to be your email address. It's not tied to your email address in any way, but it does need to be unique. The question and answer, this will be your kind of challenge question. If you forget your password, that is how we'll make sure it's you by asking you a question of your choosing. You can write your own question and create your own answer. Keep in mind, though, that that answer is case sensitive. So if, if you put up, uh, you know, what street did you grow up on? And you put in, you know, Oak Street. Make sure that if you put in Oak Street with a capital O that you answer it the same way. Or if you spell out street as opposed to You know, abbreviate it. Uh, as I mentioned, BNI Connect has been translated into about 47 different languages, including a dozen different versions of English. Uh, depending on your country, um, not all languages may be available, but if you'd like to see it in another language, that's how you choose it. Make sure your time zone is correct. Of course, there's another update button. You can also change your profile image and logo, and that's one of the first things I recommend you do is make sure that you get a profile image up there, a nice professional headshot if you can. If I want to, let's say, upload a new logo, I'm going to go ahead and I can click the magnifying glass or change company logo. Now I'm going to click this magnifying glass, and this allows me to go through my computer and find a new image. So let's say I'm going to use this... Uh, this image now, I can crop it if I want to or just leave it the way it is and click Save. And now I'll have a new logo there on my profile. Uh, Jaina has a question about national businesses and uh, suggestions for keywords for those. Jenna, that's actually a really good question. I don't think I've uh, been specifically asked that question before. So let me uh, let me think about that one, and we'll see if we can talk about it uh, in about 10 minutes or so at, towards the end of the webinar, if that's okay. All right. So the next tab, if I'm going through these tabs, the next tab here is the contact details. Now, the most important thing on this entire page is this top one here. Show me on BNI public websites. Show me on BNI public websites. If this box is unchecked, you will not be found on your regional website. So if I uncheck this, for example, and update, and I go to my regional website here and do a search for find a member, I'm going to do a search for myself. I no longer exist on the public site. And that goes for the BNI America site and my chapter site as well. Even if I go to my chapters page and I look at the roster here, so note that we have 47 members, but my name is not in the list, and it's actually showing 46 entries because I have hidden myself from the public website. So if you want that extra visibility out there on the public internet, make sure that this very first box here is checked that you want to be found on the public internet. You can then control which of your phone numbers you want to share, if people can send you a message. Note, we do not show your email address on the public site, but they can send you a message. You can put in a whole bunch of um, social media links. So if you, even if you have multiple Facebook accounts and Twitter accounts and really any link will fit in here. And then we have our addresses. You can put in two different addresses, a, a home address, for example, and a billing address. Make sure that your billing address is accurate as that is where, for example, your regional office might send any paperwork or things like that. If you have a home office and you don't want your home address to be shown, just put in something like by appointment only in this address line one, and that way you'll still have the value of having your, your city and state and everything up there, but it would, it would actually kind of hide, so to speak, your personal address. Uh, 
All right, the next tab. So the next tab, this is your member to member permissions. So whereas all of these on this other tab here, all of these show on website, show on website, that's for what you want showing on your regional website. What we're deciding now is when somebody finds you in BNI Connect, what information would you like to share with them? So you can choose which of the tabs you want to show to people. And you can show these tabs to either everyone, just people you're connected with, or with nobody. So you can choose whether to show your bio tab, your connections tab, testimonial tab, picture gallery, email, and contact details. So my recommendation, um, I personally don't want to have to wait for somebody to accept my connection request or for me to accept their connection request in order to share information. I choose to show everything to everybody. I especially recommend show my contact details to everyone. A lot of times, you know, people are using BNI Connect like the yellow pages. So if they come across your profile and they want to do business with you, make sure that they can get in touch with you right away. All right, the next part of the page has to do with some, some notifications with the social media parts of BNI Connect, like the connections and testimonials. Would you like to receive those messages uh, forwarded to your regular email as well, or just as a notification in BNI Connect? All right, the next tab. So everything else we've done so far should take about five minutes. It really shouldn't take very long at all. This tab here is where it takes a little bit more time and just because there's a lot of detail to put into this particular tab. So this bio, for example, the bio, this is the same bio that your secretary treasurer would look for before your 10 minute presentation at your chapter meeting. So it's the exact same questions from that sheet. So you can fill out here and really not have to uh, get chased down for that information by the secretary treasurer. Now your weekly presentations, you can upload a couple of, you know, you know, weekly presentations as if you were presenting to your chapter. Now, why would you want to do that? You know, BNI Connect has 210,000 members in it. I would venture to say that 209,950 of them will never hear you give a presentation at your chapter meeting. But you could type one out here. Or you could even record one and put a video of a weekly presentation in here as well. Of course, the gains profile, goals, accomplishments, interests, networks, and skills. And finally, the tops profile. Now, if you only have a couple of minutes to fill these out, my recommendation is to make sure that you fill out on this first tab, make sure you fill out your My Business and Keywords. Make sure you get a profile picture up there. And finally, make sure that you fill out this TOPS profile. Now, the reason for that is because all of those things appear on the public internet. So on your regional website, on the country website, on the chapter website, when they see your profile there, that information will be visible. It's also because Google will be indexing that information as well. So do those parts first. And if you need to, come back and do the rest of it. Keep in mind also that BNI Connect does have a 30-minute timeout. So that means that after, if you walk away from your computer for 30 minutes, it will log you out of BNI Connect. So be sure that every once in a while you hit this update button to save your progress, especially on this page. There's a lot of typing here. If you take a client phone call um, and you kind of, you know, navigate away from this tab for a little while and you know you come back you will be logged out of the system all right if you happen to be a director consultant you can have a separate director profile and finally the training history is read only but if anything is incorrect on there please contact your regional office they can make updates to this this should get updated automatically after you attend training within a day or two um, but if not just contact your regional office and they can help you out. All right, after you've saved everything, again, remember to go to the regional website button in order to check out what your profile looks like. Or of course, you can always click this profile button all the way down here at the bottom left-hand side of the page. And you can be taken directly to your profile. Now, going back to uh, the uh, earlier, one of the earlier questions, this photos tab, 
I'm not sure why it's not part of the profile when you're filling it out, but to get stuff onto this photos tab, which could include you know, just random pictures or you know, it can put client testimonials up here as well. To do that, go to Network Picture Gallery and that will allow you to upload up to 20 images. So that's why I don't have an upload button, but if I was to delete one of these, say I delete that, it would allow me to upload a new one. And again, that can be any picture on my computer anywhere. It could also be um, if I had a testimony from a client that I could scan, as long as it's a JPEG, PNG, or GIF file, then I can upload this onto my profile there. Now, Barbara had another question. She said, uh, can I add testimonials to the testimonial page or does it come from BNI members? So this testimonials tab on your profile let me go back to my profile here. This testimonials tab will be automatically populated by testimonials as people give them to you. So I'm going to be going over that on Wednesday, uh, not on Wednesdays, on part three. And that is going to be, yes, on Wednesday, I, I was correct. So on Wednesday, I'll be talking about connecting with other members and how to give testimonials and things like that. The short answer is you can give a testimonial to anybody you're connected to. So if you go to your connections tab, your network connections, that will take you uh, to the people you're connected to, by default, everybody from your chapter. And through those mini profiles, there'll be a button that says, give that person a testimonial. Once people give you testimonials, they'll appear automatically on your profile, or you can choose to hide them as well. All right, does that answer your question, Barbara? All right, so we are at the bottom of the hour. I just want to be respectful of everybody's time. Um, as I promised, I wanted to get through the main portion of the content by the bottom of the hour. Now, that said, uh, just a couple of reminders. I, I do want to open this up for questions, so please start typing your questions in. I will stay here until every single question has been answered. So please do, please type your questions in, and we'll go through that. Just a quick reminder. We are recording this, so if you do have to leave, you want to come back and check out the questions, you can find it on our YouTube channel. Or if you click this question mark in BNI Connect, so that uh, in this upper right-hand corner here, you see right under Regional Website and Options, there's a question mark. If you click that question mark, that will take you over to the support site. You'll see a ton of stuff up here. <laughs> Um, this is also where we have a ton of downloads for the BNI Resource Center, uh, all the live and recorded webinars, for example. So you can click here, see the list of upcoming webinars. A good referral for me. Please share these links. Share them with other members of your chapter that you feel might uh, benefit from this information. Or go back and share the links to the recorded webinars as well. All right, so we have some questions coming in. Um, Melanie says, can you say again how to add photos to the profile? Again, you click on Network Picture Gallery. Network Picture Gallery. All right, so that's how you can add those pictures to this photo gallery on your profile. Uh, let's see, Jana says, uh, please quickly review the tab's titles. Sure. I mean, uh, here on this public profile, you'll see that if you hover over it, it actually gives you the, the title right there. So if I hover over on that, it changes to bio, connections, testimonials, photos, groups, and training. And when you go to update your profile, it's very similarly laid out, uh, pretty much in the fact that it has tabs along the top here. But we also have our main profile. We have our user profile, contact details, account settings, bio, a director profile, and a training history. All right, is that what you were looking for, Jennifer? Or I'm sorry, uh, Jaina? Uh, Jennifer says, if I upload a picture of my BNI group, is there a way to tag the members in the photo? So right now we don't have that ability here, um, but what I would do is that might be a better thing for uh, your chapter website, which you can work with your chapter webmaster on. 
um, and link that into a place like Facebook that's more functional from that social aspect side of things where you can tag photos and whatnot. Uh, Karen says, are you able to see who's listening in so we get credit for today? So here's the challenge. Um, because this is done through GoToWebinar, it doesn't really have a link into the events section of BNI Connect in order to take attendance. That said, if you would like me to give you a, a training credit for today, I'm happy to do that on an individual basis. Can you do me a favor and send me an email? Support at BNIConnect.com support at bniconnect.com. I'm going to drop that into the chat window. And I will be happy to add this manually to your profile. I also encourage you to please, on the home screen, you'll see Submit CEU Slip. Make sure that you go in and give yourself one credit for today. Oops, I don't want to give myself two credits. That's not right. Give myself one credit for BNI webinar, for hanging out with me today, you did earn it. So does that help, Karen? So Barbara says, do updates get shown to connections in my chapter? Um, what do you mean by that? Everybody can see your updates or do you mean like this status update up here that's showing in a feed on the, like down this right-hand side here? So basically everybody that you are connected with, everybody has a feed, and you'll see those updates from, you know, people that you're connected with. So like, for example, you know, your update here would probably show in my list, but it's not going to show in, you know, John Smith from Nebraska that you're not connected with. So it is a first level thing. All right, do we have any other questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, compliments? Um, any of those, I'm happy to uh, take those now. Now going back, Jaina said, national business, what do you suggest? Um, I'm still not 100% sure on that one. I mean, you are limited to 200 characters in the keywords, so I don't know if I'd want to take up 100 characters putting in the state abbreviations for every single one of them. Now, here's my word of caution on this one, is even though that you may be a national business, a lot of times you're really dealing on a local level. So, you know, how important is it that if you're in – you know, Connecticut, for example, that you're showing up in a search for services in California. You know, I, I would say that really if you're pushing the, um, the national aspect of your business, that you look more towards like the groups and things like that in BNI Connect because that's really where those conversations happen. Um, I know that there's groups that are put together for you know, all different types of professions that are really, really trying to expand their business nationally so that they can have those, you know, really the, the, the relationship building conversations to make that happen. So I'm not sure if I have a better answer for you quite now, Jaina, but hopefully that helps. Uh, Marcus, says, uh, Marcus says, great resource. Uh, thank you so much, Marcus. All right, do we have any additional questions? Any other questions at all? I'm happy to answer those questions now. And as I said, if you haven't yet signed up for uh, the remaining of the series of webinars, again, we're going to have our uh, webinar tomorrow. We're going to go over all of the really the stuff that's on the home page here. So how do I submit referrals and thank you for closed business and one-to-ones and all that that daily activity? And then why do I want to do that? How can I track that going forward? We're going to talk about that tomorrow. Again, same bat time, same bat channel. On Wednesday, we're going to talk about that connections. And next week, we'll talk about the tools and reports and visitors. So Karen says, I look forward to the other webinars. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you on the upcoming webinars. Uh, Judy says, how do you get credit for this? So uh, to get credit for this, there's two different types of credit. If you want the training to 
appear on your profile, then please send me an email, support at bniconnect.com, and I'll be happy to manually add that for you. Um, if you want to get the CEU credit in your POMS report, make sure that you click on Submit CEU Slips and give yourself a credit for being on the webinar today. So there are two different things. Uh, let's see, Barbara says, how do you get a video on your profile? So to get a video on your profile, the first step is that you actually have to record the video and upload it to a a public sharing. So we don't we don't actually house the videos in BNI Connect. So you you have to get that video up into like YouTube or Vimeo or someplace like that. So that's the first step. So once you get that up to let's say so I have a bunch of videos on YouTube. YouTube forward slash BNI Connect Global. So I can go to any of these videos, for example like this inviting and registering visitors video. And it doesn't matter how big or small the video is from a length perspective. It could be an hour long. It could be 35 seconds long. Doesn't really matter. That's the nice thing. We're not going to limit you to size or anything like that when it comes to displaying it in BNI Connect. But once you get it uploaded to, again, I'm going to use YouTube as an example. They give you this option to share. Now, the first thing it gives you is just a link. This is not what you want. This will just put a link and they'd have to click on it and go to the website and then it would start playing. What you really want is this next one. It says embed. And they just, they give you the code. You really, you don't have to be a programmer or anything like that. They will give you exactly what you need. Really, all you need to do is to copy and paste this into that My BNI section of your profile. That's it. So. If you want to, like, for example, this video is actually kind of big from a size perspective. If you don't want it to be that big, you could, you know, again, there's more here, and I can go in and make it a custom size of, let's say, you know, 300 pixels wide, and it'll adjust the code for you. Again, all you have to do is copy that, go to your profile. So I'm going to update my profile. Whoops. Scroll too far here. I can even put a second one in here. Paste it in there. And if I go to my profile, I should now, I believe, have two videos on my profile. There's this one, the benefits of BNI Connect, and there's the second one that I just put up there, inviting and registering visitors. So does that, does that answer your question there, Barbara? And Vimeo is the same. I'm sure there's other sites out there uh, that do very similar things. That would allow you to put, uh, to put the videos in. The only limitation is, as I had mentioned earlier, you're, we're, we're limited to, I think, something like, I, I don't remember the, the amount that you can put into the My Business description, but you're limited to the number of letters that you can put in here. All right, do we have any additional questions at all? All right, if there's no additional questions, again, just a final reminder, please register for the upcoming webinars or share those registration links with other members of your chapter. And I look forward to seeing you on a future webinar. If not, happy holidays, and in the meantime, happy connecting.